Chong Wei. Pelham to trigger the inbounds play. Right side baseline. Gets it into Keith. Six on the shot clock. Drives to the free throw line. Kicks to Swain. Swain to Pelham. Pelham. Runner. Goes up off the side of the rim. Bounces in and out. No good. Almost got it to go. Wow. Corinne Groves gets the loose ball. And back the other way comes Wake Forest. So back to back trips with an opportunity to cut into the advantage. And it stays at three for Wake Forest. Chong Wei now. Pass up top to Morris. Morris inside to Chong Wei, back to a cutter, and now Wake Forest has their first bucket of the second half at the 13-47 mark. And now they stretch the lead back out, 31-26. I, I just find it hard to believe that Wake Forest wasn't able to score in, um, in, in that amount of time here in the first half, but give credit to the Lady Cats. They've made some uh, adjustments and three-point shot by Emily Clark from the top of the key, and that brings it to a two-point game, Daniel. Nice job by the freshman right there. Take away, Jamon Keith in the backcourt, takes it away from Collier, up off the glass and scores, and we're tied up, full court press put on by Kelly Harper. Lake Forest doesn't know what hit them. They're trying to go against the full court press. Ball thrown in, they finally get it to Morris. Morris will dribble through traffic and now go, come up the court against Ashley Pelham. She nearly travels with it. Finally gets it back to Camille Collier, she'll launch a three off the front of the rim, no good. Heather Swain with the ball, outlet pass to Pelham. Pelham will run up the floor, crossover dribble and wisely backs it out. Tries to go inside to Brooke Johnson. They got Clark wide open on the right wing. Inside they go to Sean Keith. Keith spins, fires off the glass and scores. Westerns come all the way back. They lead 33-31. 12-39 in play. Siobhan Keith nearly with another takeaway at the midcourt strike. Left side to Alex Chongway. Western playing man-to-man -man defense. Outs into a zone, left side, three-point shot on the way is good by Camille Collier. And they'll go back up by one, 34-33. The best way to get a team out of a zone defense is to shoot the three-point shot, a pass not able to be handled by Siobhan Keith. Rolls off her fingertips and out of bounds. Substitutions now for the Catamounts. On the floor now for Western Carolina, we've got sophomore Heather Swain, freshman Emily Clark, uh, the juniors Lauren Powell and Brooke Johnson and uh, the senior Siobhan Keith. Kristen, bound in, uh, Kristen Brown inbounds to Rulak. Tiffany Rulak back in the ball game for Wake Forest. Just gonna try to dribble drive all the way in. Dishes off to Chongwei. Chongwei has to pass off to Brown as she dribbled when she caught it and picked it up. Little free throw line extended shot. Gonna be fouled on the play is Yolanda Lavender. They're gonna say foul by Heather Swain. And when we come back from this timeout, Wake Forest will be at the free throw line shooting free throws with a one point, 34, 33 advantage. Timeout on the floor, 11.58 to play in regulation. Western Carolina University and Wake Forest have just recently, Western took the lead and Wake Forest lost the lead there for a second, but they have regained it once again. The Catamounts have evened this thing up to a very fine, fine line and are continuing to do a good job playing their, their very quick paced offense. They look really good out there right now and leading them is Ashley Pelham, the junior, who uh, has 12 points. Western Carolina inside the paint has an impressive 12 points from just inside the paint. If they can keep this up and they can keep their secondary players like Heather Swain, and Kendra Eaton to scoring like six points and what they have already, they can come out with a good lead and a good win. And that would make all the Catamount fans extremely happy. For TV 62, I'm Tucker Horn. minutes to play in this basketball game 11:58 on the clock Western Carolina has rallied back took a two-point lead but a three-point shot by Wake Forest gave the Demon Deacons back 